I'm I'm interested in a lot of kind of disparate projects um, at Swinburne University. We've just managed to get a special lab set up where we can, you know, so it's got a one-way mirror we can we can watch people through and so on and. You know, we want to analyse the experience of play in all kinds of forms, you know, all kinds of formats. We want to just have a variety of people playing games, all kinds of demographics. And what we're looking at doing, we've got a few methodologies kind of in the fire at the moment, but one I'm interested in using is interpretive phenomenological analysis, IPA, so it's like, I always remember it as a beer. Um, and what that is is basically just letting people talk about the experience of play on their own terms and then devising a system around that so it really does come from the player's experience rather than me saying this is what you've experienced you just don't know it you know it's uh, it's analyzing the content of how they respond how they talk about play and so on um, and so what we're interested in and, and actually what I'll be presenting on here is a few uh, minor small findings that we've discovered so far in terms of the ontology of games, so what exists and the levels of existence, and the epistemology, kind of how we understand play and how we access it and how we have knowledge about it. Um, and yeah, I find that really fascinating. So phenomenology is something I'm really getting into, object ontology, which I think is crucial to understanding games because they are just networks of all kinds of objects. Um, and then there's a lot of good work being done, I mean, here by all of these guys, you know, um, Mark, Judd and Ken are unsung heroes of game studies. Their research is always fascinating, both as historians, archivists, kind of ludologists, I suppose they would argue. You know, they, they, they look at the cultural aspect of games and play. Um, there's some really exciting work being done by uh, Rolf Neuer's student, Sebastian de Tardy. Uh, he's a very intelligent guy. Uh, he's in the kind of gamification space at the moment, but he's got a, a very intelligent, nuanced approach to it. Christian McRae at RMIT is always an interesting thinker on games. Tom Appley uh, up, up north in Australia. Dan Golding. I'm answering kind of your other questions now, so I think I'll stop. <laughs> I'm noting other reasons.